right, just stopped at Bucky's in New Braunfels. Got myself a turkey sandwich, DDP, heading to Austin. Gonna get on a plane and go to Vegas. Austin Airport. He is on the way. I'm not sure exactly when he's going to get here, but I got here extra early because I wasn't sure how bad the traffic was going to be on the way over here on Interstate 35. Hit a little bit of traffic when I got near Austin, but here we go. This will be the first time I've been to Vegas in 22 years. Looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. There he is. Vegas at the Malagio Hotel and Casino where I'm going to be staying for the next four days. Got in late last night so this is really my first day of going around and uh, kind of sightseeing a little bit. D is staying at the, uh, the venue at uh, Lake Las Vegas where the race is going to take place. I'm here at the Bellagio. He races on Sunday. Things have definitely changed since the last time I was here. I mentioned earlier that uh, it's been 22 years since I've been here. And let me tell you, it has changed quite a bit. Some good, some not so good. I'll talk about that in a minute. I'm gonna head up to the room. feels good to sit down uh, anyway so things that are good and things that are bad that I noticed here in Vegas uh, since I've been here uh, 22 years ago cool things are the technology in this town is so cool all the the different things the new modern things that are going on inside the casinos outside the casinos it's really cool you know and I'm just scratching the surface I didn't really see a whole lot and I'm not really here to to go do a bunch of other things like that. I'm here for D's race on Sunday. 
but I'm gonna take advantage of some of the downtime um, that uh, I have. So yeah, cool stuff. The downside is, you know, back when I used to come, or when I've, let's see, let me back up. I've been here four times and uh, since, since the 90s. And uh, the, the three times before, the one cool thing about coming to Vegas is you could eat pretty cheaply and the food was really good. But I gotta tell you, man, so we got in late last night. I didn't get in the room until probably 11, 11.30, somewhere around there, and uh, I was starving, right? So I went downstairs and I got a BLT, a little bag of chips, and a small little drink. Cost me almost 40 bucks. <laughs> I was like, what? $40 for this? And uh, I went to a buffet today. Normally you go to a buffet, you know, 15, 20 bucks, you know? No, 55, $55. Then you gotta leave a tip. By the time you're done and out of there, you're into like 70 bucks. It's crazy. It is friggin' crazy. And the other thing is I'm gonna have to, you know, when I originally was in, when I originally thought about things I was gonna do on my downtime, I wanted to go, kind of go out of the city and go do a, a hike at Red Rock Canyon or, or somewhere outside of the city, go do a hike. And I thought, well, I'll rent a car when I get here because they have rentals here in the uh, uh, casino. And uh, I went to get one today for tomorrow and Sunday and then turn it in Sunday night because we're leaving Monday. It was over $500 to rent a car for basically a day and a half. And that's not including if you get insurance. And I don't know if you've been to Vegas lately, but gasoline here is about $4 a gallon. So to fill it up, if you get something and you drain the tank, you gotta fill it up, you're probably looking at another hundred bucks. And you're gonna be into that for, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars just for a day and a half. So not getting a rental car. Some of my plans have been uh, dashed, but you know, I'm still enjoying myself and uh, I'm gonna get together with D tomorrow. I think I'm not sure what the uh, plans are cause he's, like I said, he's staying at a different venue um, closer to where he's gonna be racing. We're gonna talk tonight and uh, kind of coordinate and uh, see what's next. So anyway, I'm tired. I'm gonna go find something to eat. I'm gonna go across the street. I think there's a place that's a little cheaper. So uh, I'm gonna go get some food and uh, maybe, you know, go down and uh, play a couple slots. I haven't done that in a long time, so try my luck. Wish me luck. Okay, day two. Well, technically it's day three, but since we got here so late on Thursday night, I'm really counting this as day two, it's Saturday. Um, getting ready to go out to Lake Las Vegas and meet up with D. And uh, I think the professional men are starting at two o'clock. We're gonna watch him race and he's got some things he's doing there. So I'm gonna head that way and see what's going on out at Lake Las Vegas. Let's go. Lake Las Vegas. Took us about 45 minutes to get out here. The professional males are about to start. On your mark.
D, you got it. Let's go, D. You're good, you're good, you're good. There you go. There 
Okay, D is out on the bike course. I'm gonna try to catch him in some certain areas when he's going by. Uh, it's gonna be difficult because I don't know when he's gonna go by. But uh, I need to go get some coffee. Got a little bit of downtime. Where are they gonna take him from here? Uh, to the top of the to the medical uh, is the there road. is that near the finish line or yeah, yeah. so in the middle, finish line you'll see the little alleyway right at the end of it that takes you to the corner of the building okay. right there that's where they have medical set up okay well i'm gonna head on down there then I, that's where he's you going you want to do me a favor then you want me to take the bike yeah, take the i'll bike, take it uh, give it to the people in transition they'll rack it okay because we're gonna pack it for him okay so, okay that'll work your name kenny kenny yeah kenny right. caraway As you can see, I've got Dee's bike. Apparently he took a spill and uh, he's okay. I, I haven't seen him yet, but they said he's okay. They're gonna take him to the uh, medical tent just to check him out, but they gave me his bike. I just happened to see the guy with the bike. So I'm gonna take it down here and uh, see what's going on. I just uh, put Dee's bike back in uh, transition. They're gonna kind of take care of it from there. This is medical behind me. They haven't brought him in yet. The guy who was who had the bike said he was fine. So just waiting for him uh, to bring him over to medical and check him out. I think that's uh, pretty much the end of his race day. Okay, they just uh, took him into the uh, medical area. He looks like he's okay. They're gonna assess him and uh, we'll go from there. All right, D is out of medical. He's good, he's uh, getting his stuff now out of transition. And uh, that's the end of racing for D today, which is, you know, things like this happen. It's racing and you don't always finish the, uh, the race. So just chalk it up as, as experience and uh, get ready for the next one. That's all you gotta do, that's all you can do. Okie dokie, I am back at the hotel, back in my room, and uh, we leave tomorrow back to Texas. So update on Daryl, he's fine, just uh, just probably his pride is hurt more than anything. He's got a couple of scrapes here and there, but he's fine. But you know, things like that happen, what can you do? You just wipe yourself off, wipe yourself off, dust yourself off, and uh, Get yourself ready for the next race. So, he's gonna be good. Um, yeah, tonight will be my fourth night here. We leave tomorrow, and I gotta tell you, it feels like I've been here for two friggin' weeks, man. Holy crap. I have been walking everywhere. I didn't get to do some of the things I wanted to do, like go to Red Rocks Canyon and do a hike. That didn't happen. Um, there aren't any running trail systems within the, uh, the downtown area of uh, Las Vegas, so I didn't get to go for any kind of run. But let me tell you, I have probably over the last four days have logged over 200,000 steps. I've been walking everywhere and my feet are killing me, but that's okay. You know, burned off some of that buffet I've been eating. So anyway, um, yeah, that's it. We leave tomorrow and um, I'm gonna end the video here. It's probably gonna be a fairly longer, a, a longer video than normal because I got a lot of footage, but uh, should be good. Hopefully it'll be good. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if you like the video, give it a like. I'd appreciate it. If you wanna subscribe, I'd appreciate that as well. Helps the channel out. Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Leave a comment. I answer all my comments. And that's it. And until next time, Go out and get fit. See you back in Texas.